So how do you get lung cancer? And the basic answer to that is that you smoke cigarettes. The exposure to cigarette smoke over time will cause respiratory epithelium to, to acquire multiple mutations. And the effects of these on tumor suppressor genes and oncogenes eventually end up with a cell which is unable to be controlled by the normal physiological mechanisms and, and immune uh, surveillance of, of abnormal cells and will replicate and cause a cancer. And 90% of these cases are due to cigarette smoking. There are other factors which also will influence the development of lung cancer. For example, we know that if you've been exposed to asbestos, in combination with smoking cigarettes, that becomes synergistic with increasing your chance of lung cancer. We also know exposure to radioactive gases such as radon could increase your chance of lung cancer. And in fact, in Cornwall in the UK, the houses built there have to have a radon prevention membrane built underneath them to prevent the radon gas, which is fairly common in Cornwall, seeping into the house because of this risk of increased risk of cancer. In addition, things like radiotherapy to the, lung, to the lungs, a family history of cancer, various chemical exposures, apparently diesel exhaust may increase your chance of cancer. They all contribute towards the chance of getting cancer. An important point is that if you have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, i.e. smoking-related lung damage, the chance of lung cancer is increased over and above just the effect of smoking itself. So there's something about the inflammation that's present in patients with COPD which makes lung cancer more likely to develop compared to smokers who don't develop COPD. But another important point is that not all of lung cancer is due to smoking. About 10% occur in non-smokers. And there's a specific type of disease, which is adenocarcinoma, which tends to present in non-smoking middle-aged women. And what happens is that somebody will present with a bit of a cough, a chest x-ray will be done, and it will show multiple metastases of adenocarcinoma throughout both lungs. And characteristically, that would be in a non-smoking population. So, in general, how would you rec recognize somebody with lung cancer? Well, it, they tend to be an elderly person, age 75. They're male, slightly more predominant than female, but actually females, this lung cancer is still a very common. As we said, it's the commonest fatal disease, lung ca fatal cancer in females, much more common than breast cancer as a cause of death in women. So somebody who smokes, who's age over 50 years, has a lung mass on the x-ray, you must exclude cancer as the cause. If they have systemic symptoms, which might suggest they have a cancer, and those are mainly weight loss, look, looking cachexic, no appetite, fatigue, and general malaise, feeling ill, and if they have specific symptoms suggestive of a cancer, such as cough or hemoptysis, then your suspicion is even higher. So as you see on this, there's an x-ray with somebody with a lesion in the top of the left lung, they're a smoker. You must think that lung cancer is a potential cause for that in these situations. It may not be the cause, but it needs to be excluded. The major problem with the clinical presentation of lung cancer is that the symptoms that they can present, the patients present with, are very, very variable. As a consequence, they can present to any specialty, not just chest physicians. They can present to neurologists, to bone doctors, etc., etc. And as a consequence, everyone who deals with patients who are in the age range which may have cancer needs to be aware of lung cancer as a potential diagnosis.